Good morning, Facebook friends. My name is Michelle. We are on day six of Double Your Impact Week. It has been such a fun week sharing impact stories. I'm loving this one today. I'm at the YMCA Children's Learning Center in one of our preschool classrooms, and there's some you know, breaking news going on here this morning. Uh, first and foremost, before we jump into it, thank you, Mercy Health. We're on the Mercy Health campus. You sponsored our live, our, our live streams this week, and we really appreciate your support. And um, here in the preschool classroom, hey, guys, what's going on out here? What are we looking at? What's happening? What, what's happening, Amir? Do you know what's happening out there? Yeah, they're building playground. A yeah. playground? Are you guys going to get to play on that? Brand new? Yeah, they're going to make a loop-de-loop -loop and a slide like that. A loop-de-loop -loop and a slide? Bro, yeah, and we're going to go in the loop-de-loop. -loop. Was it dirt. A big dirt? What are, yeah. they do what do you think they're doing right now? Yeah. What are they doing? What do you think they're doing? Uh, they're digging. They're digging? Are they yeah. digging holes to put the playground equipment? Yeah. yeah, you guys have a front row seat, don't you? Can you see out there to your equipment, the, the playground that's over there? What color is that playground equipment? Green. 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 How fun. Oh, my gosh. Are you guys excited? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're tripping over each other. You're so excited. Well, there's a hole. Oh, there's a hole. Yeah, there's a hole. Look, Miss Becca, can you see out the window to the new playground the YMCA Children's Learning Center is getting? Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on out there? We're so excited. We are so excited because we're raising oh, money I this got week. Money. I got money. I got money. I got money. You got money. I like to hear that. Show us the money, people. Show us the money. That's right, Amir. <laughs> All right. I think you guys are going to paint some pumpkins and we're going to... I wanted to give you a sneak peek inside a preschool classroom today. Our, our classrooms here are filled with so much joy and inspiration and fun, and we don't often get to see inside these uh, classrooms unless you have children this age. So we wanted to give you a tour this morning because a uh, money raised from the YMCA annual campaign does help impact our preschoolers and early childhood education is so important. And as we show you around the classroom, we're also going to check in on our thermometer this morning. Uh, we are so close. We are so close. We are less than $4,000 away from our $70,000 goal. We have 154 donors who have donated over this past Double Your Impact Week and a generous donor who is matching gifts up to $50,000. Thank you, Dennis Roop. Thank you, Michael Urum. Thank you, Michael Gary, Marsha Bowman, Linda Bergstrom, and so many more. Uh, your gifts are truly making a difference, and you can see some of that in action here at the YMCA Children's Learning Center. Uh, such a great environment for our littlest learners here. I mean, I'm inspired to go decorate my office <laughs> uh, this way. I mean, it's there's so much to look at in here, so much learning that happens in this space. Uh, with these three to five year olds and the growth that happens is, is so fun to watch we were asking them this morning to spell their names to tell us what happens in october uh miss Alyssa, the teacher in this classroom uh, we're going to catch up with her um over here is uh just really rocking it with these three to five year olds i just love it so much miss Alyssa. good morning good morning what is good happening morning. here we are painting some pumpkins today Tell me a little bit about uh, what it feels like to teach this age group. Oh my gosh, they're awesome. They're so funny and it's just, it, it makes my heart so happy when I see them actually like grasp what I'm trying to teach them and that sometimes they just surprise me. Like I know, think they're listening and then they just are absorbing everything. So it just, it's really awesome to see them grow and learn and know that I'm actually making a difference with them. What are some of the things that they are learning at this level? Um, they're learning the ABCs, their one, two, threes. They're learning how to write their names. Um, we're learning like the dates and the um, months, the seasons, um, counting, all that good stuff. And today we're we're doing some pumpkins. Yes, for October. What happens in October, guys? October thirteenth. Yes. Are you trying to talk about what? What just happened? Was it Friday the 13th? Yes. And what did you guys do yesterday? I see something over there. Friday. 
Spiders? Yeah. Did you paint some spiders? Yeah, we, and we got to use those little black things. Those little black things. Those I little, love it. You know what those are called? I want to catch up with Executive Director Sarah Reniker. Sarah, um, you must be so proud walking around this school and seeing all the learning that is happening. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, and it makes me kind of jealous that I'm stuck in my office doing paperwork and they get to do all of this. So, yeah, the the fun that we have here is just, we just have so much fun. And you can just hear it walking through the halls and all the activity that's going on. So, yeah. Why is early childhood education such an important milestone for children? Um, well, we talk about early childhood as kind of setting the foundation or the scaffolding for learning. So, you know, we're giving all of those basic skills that children need once they get to elementary school to be successful. So like right now, we see them painting pumpkins. I see them developing their fine motor skills. I see them having conversations and developing social skills. So those are all the things they're gonna need to be successful in their next step. I just saw 18 month old children mm -hmm. walking down the hallway. Mm -hmm. Do you all remember if your parent was an 18 month old? I mean, I think I was chasing mine around. They all <laughs> walked, about 10 of them. Yeah. I mean, that is quite a feat to get yeah. them to walk down the hallway and all stay together and not scurry. Yeah, yeah, well, and that's like the, that's, that's what we call the importance of routine. So, you know, when we start establishing routines with our little ones, not only does it create comfort for them, they know what to expect, Every, you know, every every time they transition from one place to the other, but then, you know, as they're walking up and down the hall, they know, okay, I'm going to my classroom and I know I'm probably going to get snack next and then I get to play some more. So we love to create that routine and it's amazing what these little brains can do. So, And, and we always like to say at the Y that especially um, with, um, there's, you know, child care assistance, but then there's also additional uh, financial assistance that's Correct. made available through your donations through the YMCA annual campaign. What a difference that can make in making sure that there's no barriers to this education. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, because we do see some circumstances where not only do we talk about the kind of that benefits cliff where, you know, you don't quite qualify for certain assistance. We want to make sure that we provide some like, you know, call it bridge coverage. So as a, if a family's struggling or we have a family in crisis, you know, sometimes life changes very quickly and we want to be there to support families through that change and create an atmosphere where the kids really, the impact is minimal. So we want to create that, that security for them. Anything you want to say to your donors? Oh my gosh, thank you so much. Um, we have so many children that we have been able to impact and just see a huge difference, not just in their lives, but in their families' lives, um, because of the of, because of the contributions you make to the Y. Um, and we would we really want to make sure that we can continue to do that for generations to come. Thank so. you, Sarah. Thank you, Miss Alyssa, for allowing us to come into your classroom this morning. Of I hope you guys had fun. Do you guys all want to say goodbye to everyone say on goodbye. Facebook? Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Can you say Y M C A? <laughs> Y-M-C-A. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Facebook friends. We'll see you soon.